Hey, Camilla. Hi, my baby. Well done. I love you so much. As I said, we're gonna just go back to the, hey baby, the regular maps. Pretty much everybody is maxed. Hello, my love. And we're going to change her emblem to Camilla. And we're going to give the main character, the Divine Dragon, a hop rabbit. Hey, little bunny. Oh, my. Well, that's what we'll do. Sorry. Uh, she captivates me too. That's right. Sorry, Gino. Yes. I mean, we may have to start replacing some people just for the sake of they're not able to promote. And like I said, I don't want to use a second seal yet. Moment, please. Hi, my love. Ooh. I mean, that's only if, you know, like I'm going to use the promoted units, obviously. But like Citrine. God, I love you. Like, Louie's got to take a seat. Anna should take a seat. Just until I can promote them. Not even because of the challenge, but I don't want them eating. Like, SP is important, sort of. But I don't want them eating up experience points they can't really take advantage of. Yep. Hi, baby. That's just kind of stupid. Uh, Alfred, I forgot you were even on the team. And it's that time of the day where I got home from doing my job. Like maybe I should put a lot of peace in there. I considering that the maps coming up are more their level than promoted units and what have you. It would just make sense to me. All right, let's go back to, let's do this. But who would take Marth though? Nice. God, I love you. That makes more sense to me. Who would take Marth? I mean, the only problem is she's not gonna really. Tiki, let's go. Right. Um, you're maxed. Okay, then you take Marth. Marth, right. Now who's gonna take Roy? Uh, let's see if I use La Piece of Ass. Alright, let me, let me go back to the Somnio. We're done with all the Divine Paralogs. Let's go home for a sec. I have about a month, I have a little bit more than a month to finish this game, so we're good. Not like I want to rush through Fire Emblem, it's... Fucking fire him. Hi, Tiki. <laughs> Dang. Support. What can this humble liar do for you, Divine One? You can I'd make like love to me. That's all. I understand. And I'm prepared to accept whatever punishment you have in mind. Ooh, sure. Punishment? No. I wanted you to know how grateful I've been to have you by my side. Wait, uh, what? Well, that's how I feel. You fight hard every day to protect our allies. There's absolutely no reason to punish you. In hindsight, I think the only reason you lied is that we don't know each other very well yet. So let's change that. Why don't you start by telling me something about yourself, Yunaka? <laughs> Way to put me on the spot. If you don't want to, then I won't pry. Simple as that. <sighs> okay. Before I joined up with you, I was sort of just... wandering. Looking for my place in the world. 
I'd left my old self behind me. Wanted to think I had, at least. You don't sound very fond of your old self. Oh, I like her well enough. Others, though, not so much. That's why she had to go. I like you. I like who I am now. And honestly, I've been having so much fun since we met. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Good talk, Yunaka. I think we should do it again sometime. What do you say? You got yourself a deal. You're very hot. I can't get over that. It's Bologna's voice. It doesn't make sense to me. Oh. <laughs> We're not going to get any expansion on Welcome. the items, but I do need a staff. Let's see. Yeah, you need a heal. I thank you. Urgh. I could second seal Yunaka. I don't know if I want it. She needs, uh... I thank you. She has this rescue staff, but she's not using it. Well, I wonder why. Um... Do come again. Let me... Well, hey there. All right. Okay, Jade, I'm trusting you to not suck. I just want to give her a hand axe. And, uh, ooh. Here hammer. you go. We have 36,000. Take care. Okay, so. That is a lot. Oh, I haven't cooked in a while. If I may. Mm. God, I love you. Come on in. Um, let's do that later. All right, donations. Now, 15,000 is good. We have a mere we have two mere donkeys and a spear. Nice. Um oh. Hi my baby. <sighs> Thank God I love you. You make me hungry in the penis. <sighs> Citrine. Hey sweetie. You have a support conversation? You barely were in the nah, nah, whatever. Excuse me, divine one. I wanted to thank you for aiding me in battle the other day. If it's not inappropriate, I would like to find a gift for you to fully express my gratitude. A gift? That isn't necessary, Citrine. I only did what anyone would have done. <laughs> oh, Divine One, you're too modest. Ah, a gift idea has just come to me. An acquaintance of the Brodian royal family is looking to sell their private island, at cost. What would you say to your own private island getaway? My treat, of course. God, I want you. A an entire island? That's really not... Not enough. I agree. Shall I add some of my antique jewelry? It's just a few generations old. No, Citrine, I don't need expensive gifts. Really? Then... What sort of gift would you be more inclined to accept? I want to see you, baby. Well, if I can't talk you out of it. To be honest, I would prefer the kind of gift that money can't buy. Something that money... Cannot buy. No private islands. No jewelry. I value gifts that aren't defined by how much they cost. That's the best kind of gift a person can receive. Do you understand? I see. Let me just think on this for a while. Farewell for now, Divine One. I love you. You are very, oof, God, look at those legs. And what else we have? We have a bunch. Actually. Yeah. Oh, dear, my, well, that makes sense. You guys have been fighting with each other for how long? The Corrupted? Where? Diamond, help! <laughs> and Diamond certainly helped. Thanks for the save, Diamond. Sorry to trouble you like that. No trouble at all. 
However, I must ask, how did that creature manage to overpower and frighten the Divine One? It came out of nowhere. I just started running. I'm not really good with the Corrupted. You seem fine to me. You handle them in battle just fine. It's different on the battlefield. I can spot them first, then steal myself before engaging. That last Corrupted Soldier got the drop on me. My guard was down. I'm an easy target for them outside of battle. Hmm. I don't follow. Isn't there something that makes your skin crawl, Diamond? You with clothes on, you should change that. Hairy caterpillars can have that sort of effect on me. Okay, let's say you knew you were about to see a big caterpillar. You'd have a chance to prepare. Now imagine you're eating dinner at home and a caterpillar suddenly drops onto your plate. Hmm. Wouldn't that startle you? Wouldn't you cry out in surprise? I probably would. That's what sneak attacks from the Corrupted feel like. Caterpillars dropping on my plate. I understand. Very clear explanation, Divine One. Well, that was a strange example, but I'm glad you followed God, it. God, you're so cute. Sorry you had to watch me struggle like that. How <laughs> unflattering. I wish I was flawless like you, Diamond. Flawless? Uh okay. A woman breathes and I'm turned on. Okay, so anyway, Fram. Who's winning the staring contest? You or that history book? <gasps> Prince Diamond! Sorry, I didn't notice you come in. <laughs> no need to apologize, Fram. What's got you so frustrated? Anything I can help with? I messed up some of my steward duties again, so Vander gave me an ongoing study duty. He was all, you never take your role seriously, and the least you can do is educate yourself. Ah, so Vander gave you that book. Doesn't look like you're enjoying it very much. History is so boring. It's just wars, border disputes, wars, trade stuff, more wars. Sounds like a Squaresoft game. To fight all the time. Why can't everyone just relax and be friends? History does tend to be a chronicle of warfare. That's been true since the first Fell Dragon War. It's not all battles and bloodshed, though. For instance, my ancestors were able to found Brodia thanks to Lumera's protection, not open warfare. You really do learn a lot by studying history. Vander has the right idea. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> Just keep reading. It's not all dates and trivia, I promise. These are stories about people. Yeah, I guess you're right. I haven't even made it very far. It's kind of draining. Ah. Right. Must be hard to read about past wars in the middle of a new one. But don't worry, you have my vow as the Crown Prince of Brodia that, when I'm king, there will be peace. Wow. Really, really? A vow from the Crown Prince of Brodia is good enough for me! <laughs> I mean it. Rest easy, okay? <laughs> I will. But only after I've read some more of this not-so-boring book. Well... It's kind of hard to fulfill that promise since your dad's dead. Ooh, I'm sorry, too soon. Another bad dream? Are you two gonna get married? Is it so obvious? No. As I recall, you've also had dreams of losing your brother, haven't you? I'm curious, when did they start for you? Only recently. Shortly after we entered this war against the Fell Dragon, my father told me. If your brother and I both die, it will fall to you to protect our kingdom. Oh, so it's selfish. It sounded impossible at the time. My mighty father and invincible older brother die in battle? How ridiculous. But wars are often unpredictable. I know what you mean. Now I'm haunted by a growing fear that my bad dreams might become reality. What if an enemy catches him off guard? What if we're separated and I never find him again? I've lost count of all the horrible ways my dreams have taken Diamant from me. My experience has been similar. In my dreams, every disaster I can think of comes to pass. Now, after every nightmare, I crawl out of bed and check on him as he sleeps, seeing him sprawled out, snoring louder than the sawing of a log. That puts my fears to rest. I'm glad you have that, at least. My brother is too much of an early riser for me to do the same. I'd be roped into his workouts. <laughs> Funny. I'd imagine that seeing him up and running in circles would be a relief. 
<laughs> it does help, I admit. Well, speaking with you has calmed my nerves. I am sorry for worrying you. Not at all. If you have another bad dream and want to talk about it, I'm always here. I can't make them go away, but at the very least, you know you're not alone. Thank you, Prince Alcrest. I find that very reassuring. Oh no. Unica and Citrine? You change your name too, Citrine? You have planned for the upcoming Brodian assembly. Sorry, could you try again? Only one of my ears was ready that time. I know you've been asking around for details on the upcoming gathering of Brodian officials. Uh, what? Brodia is my treasure, as are its people. If you have any criminal intentions, I will stop you. Yum. Hold up, back it up. I, I think this might be a misunderstanding. Oh? What exactly am I misunderstanding? You are lying about your identity, are you not? That's... uh... well, I... Don't bother denying it. You fooled many, but I know your true profession. You're an assassin. <laughs> I assume you didn't consider someone like me to be a threat. As a noble, it's my duty to keep my people safe. And I can tell that you're up to something. I've already gathered all the evidence I need. If you don't confess, I'll tell everyone about you. <sighs> yeah, it's true. I was a Brodian assassin. Honestly, though, I've put that life behind me. That's not who I am anymore. Try harder. I'm telling you the truth. Look, hear me out at least, please. I'll tell you everything. <sighs> Fine. I'll hear what you have to say. But later, know this, Yunaka. To protect Brodia, I can and will act with a heart of cold steel. No mercy. Yeah. yeah. I'll remember. My kind of lady. She's a lady. Oh. All right, makes sense. Are you gonna get married? You've been staring at me for a troubling amount of time. Do you need something? <laughs> I can't blame him. Please pardon any offense I have caused. My profound interest in you drives me to act in perhaps inadvisable ways. You call staring an interest. You can't. Oh such grace and never question an order from your prince. Moreover, you are so merciless in battle that some might unfairly deem you to be inhuman. Ah, we seem to be well beyond interest now. Are you trying to be cute? Uh, I would say I'd like to know what you got on the, that armor, sweetie. I don't completely trust you either. Dangerous? Not at all. I fear I've once again given you the wrong idea. But it's undeniable that there are certain things you keep carefully concealed, yes? Secrets that only a select few are privy to. <laughs> but I know all about them. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have a new novel in the works, don't you? A comedy that is frivolous in the extreme? Louis, I'm sure I didn't hear you mention a new book just now. Please, I am a paragon of discretion. Oh, I believe you will be. You already know well enough to describe me as merciless. Take a break from your interests and enjoy a long, natural life of minding your own business. Very good, Jade. I shall take that under advisement. My kind of lady. That's it, huh? All right, we got through all that. Um, let's map. I haven't really done anything in the arena. Let me go pick up what my animals left behind. Hey! <laughs> okay, I found out why Leaf can use everything. Because he becomes a great lord or whatever, and he can use everything. <laughs> so that's why he uses bows, arrows, you know, axes, swords, lances. He can, use, he can even heal. Alright, where's the horse? Who left the shit?
Here's the grapes and here's the wrath. Yes, very good wrath. Okay. Oh, we're at 20 minutes. Let me let me finish up here. Okay. Like I was saying, we're gonna go back to the main quest. So I may just start using the lower level characters until we can get until we can get more yeah oh, shit. All right, let me let me work on the rings when I come back, but we'll get more master seals. I'll see you soon.